Hi, my name is Erika Karina Alia Dinda. I'm from Pronunciation Practice Class D, and I would like to tell you a story of Jack and the Beanstalk. There was once a poor widow who lived with her son Jack far out in the country. Jack was good-natured but lazy. When at last there was no money left to buy food, Jack's mother told him to take the dairy cow to market and sell her for a good price. On his way to the market, Jack met a strange man who asked him to trade the cow with five magic beans and he agreed. Jack hurried home and told his mother about the beans. His mother was so angry, she threw all the beans out the window. The day after, Jack noticed an odd shadow across his window. It turns out to be a beanstalk that sprung up during the night. Jack was curious and decided to climb up the beanstalk. When he finally reached the top, he saw a great castle in the clouds. The castle looked so dreamy. He rubbed his eye to make sure that he was not dreaming. As he got closer to the castle, Jack met a beautiful fairy. She told Jack that the giant who lived in the castle had killed Jack's father long ago and had stolen all of his gold. She told him to take the gold back. When Jack reached the steps, he asked the giant's wife for some supper. The woman gave Jack a good supper. Soon, they heard a thumb of heavy footsteps, so his wife hit Jack in the oven. The giant sniffed the air and roared, Fee fo fee vum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! It's just your supper, said his wife. The giant ate his huge supper in one swallow. Then he wrote, Fetch my gold coins. The woman brought in bags of gold coins that had belonged to Jack's father. The giant fell fast asleep counting the money. Jack took a bag of gold and ran back to the beanstalk. He threw the bag down to his mother's garden. Jack's mother was overcome with joy when gold coins ran down. One day, the gold ran out. Jack disguised himself and went up to Beanstalk again. When Jack returned to castle, very tired and hungry, the giant's wife did not want to help him. The last boy I helped stole a bag of my husband's gold, she said. But Jack was so polite that she finally let him in and gave him a drink of water. Just then, the giant's footsteps shook the floor. Jack barely had time to hide in the oven before the giant entered the kitchen and roared angrily. Fee fo fee vum! I smell the blood of an Englishman. Don't be silly, said the giant's wife. The giant ate his supper, then he told his wife to bring him his hen. Jack heard the giant shout, Lay! Jack saw a hen lay a perfect golden egg. After he told the hen to lay three golden eggs, the giant fell asleep. Jack snatched the hen and ran. He took the wonderful hen to his mother. After a while, Jack decided to climb back the beanstalk. Jack sneaked back into the castle and hid in a large pot. The giant sniffed the air and said, Fee fo fee vroom! His wife went over to the oven and looked in, but there was no boy inside. After the giant ate his supper, he called for his magic harp. The giant told the, the magic harp to play. When Jack heard the giant snoring, he knew it was safe to climb out of the pot. He grabbed the giant's harp and started to run away with it. Master! Master! The harp cried. The giant awoke with a start. He knew that the giant took large steps, so his fear was great. But the angry giant had just finished a filling supper. That slowed him down enough for Jack to reach the beanstalk ahead of the giant. Jack clumsily climbed down the beanstalk with the harp, calling out for his mother up as he went. Mother, bring me the axe! The giant was halfway down the beanstalk when Jack reached the ground. Jack took the axe from his mother, and with one mighty chop, he cut the beanstalk in two. The giant crashed to the ground and died. Jack, his mother, the hen, and the harp lived happily, happily ever after. 
Thank you.